full disclosure, it does take time. It does take effort. Uh, for instance, building your price books, building out, you know, all the, so we have a, a tab called company settings, right? You're going to put in all your logos, your, your, um, we have uh, templated emails. Uh, we have all kinds of stuff. Hey, 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 plumbing pros, welcome to the 407th episode of Potty Talk. We have a special power tools episode for you. Mm -hmm. Excited to introduce you to a a very powerful power tool, mm -hmm. Field Pulse. Yes. Okay. We have Mr. Daniel Myers. Mm -hmm. Okay. I love Daniel Myers is, is going to be, he's going to help introduce us to uh, Field Pulse. Mm -hmm. And um, I, what I love about uh, Daniel is he's not just some techie guy. So, right. guys, hold on here. He's not just a techie guy. All right. That's going to bore you with all, all the right. spreadsheets uh, and right. numbers. This, and is, this is a guy that's been in the con construction industry. He's had multiple businesses. You know, mm -hmm. he, he gets gets where we're at, mm -hmm. okay? Yep. And so he's the, he's the one who's going to be introducing us to Field Pulse, and I'm excited for you to get to know Field Pulse. Yes, sir. so he is an in-house industry advisor. So he's 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 you working at Field Pulse, helping them to understand the industry that we're all in. Right, so, so mm -hmm. without further ado, help us welcome Daniel Myers. All right, hey, welcome, Daniel. Hey, it's great to have you on the, on the podcast here. I so appreciate yep. you taking the time to be with us. Thank you so much for having me. I've I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Thank you. <laughs> well, thank you. We we have too. I, we've been so excited and looking forward to introducing our audience to Field Pulse. Um, you know, we we love Field Pulse. I got I got a little bit of a man crush on Field Pulse. <laughs> so you know, um, so I'm so glad that you've taken the time to be here. And and like we we said in the intro, you you know, you're with Field Pulse, and we're gonna be talking Field Pulse. But I mean, you, you've had multiple you know home service businesses. I mean, you, you come from that as a, you know, even as a kid, you've been around it, and now now you deal with all kinds of home services. So so gang, this is this isn't about Field Pulse. We're you know some some techie. Right. At the field, Paul. I mean, this is a guy that's been in the field and dirty with us, mm -hmm. and so he. No, he in ended... fact, uh, I, I actually tell people I'm a construction guy working at a, working at a tech company. <laughs> this is such a left turn in my career path and my life path. Um, yeah. It took me three days to figure out how to get two monitors to work when I first came here. So I am <laughs> okay. I am not tech. Okay, I promise, I am not. Uh, okay, that, that's why I feel comfortable with you. Brother. I was going to say, like, I'm not, you're amongst, you're amongst yeah. company for sure. Right. So, so well, well, let's let's get at it here. Mm -hmm. Let's, you know, wh why why as a you know as a as a plumbing business? Okay, I'm a guy. You know, started my plumbing business. I'm in a truck, and I may have another guy with me or whatever. You know, why do I need a, a field management tool? You know, a software tool like you know, like Field Pulse. Well, the biggest question I ask contractors when I talk to them is what do you want to spend your time doing? Do you want to spend your time working in your business or do you want to spend your, your time working on your business? That's uh -huh. a very important uh, decision that you have to make. Now, when you're first starting out, you don't have a choice. You're working in your business. You, you have very little time. That's what your nights are for. That's what your weekends are for. We've all been driving down the road trying to eat something that we picked up or if you got a wife like mine, I brought my lunch with me. And yeah, you're yeah. driving and you're trying to eat something and you're talking on the phone and you're calling your supplier and you're calling your next customer. And so you have to think about what you want to spend your time doing. And like I said, when you're starting out, you're working in your business, you don't have an option now. Right. That's just a fact of life. Now, the question continues. What do you want to spend your time doing? Well, you want to spend your time doing paperwork and writing things by hand and trying to follow up with people and trying to remember to call somebody back or trying to trying to do all the things that you have to do. You've got vehicle inspections that need to be due. You need to go get your oil changed. You need to keep your van clean. You need to go stock up your van again. You, da, 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 all the stuff you need to remember. Well, if you can train yourself and you can teach yourself to use a piece of software, this is the first step of delegation. This is the first baby step into delegation. When you can entrust a piece of software, that's what this is for, is to delegate certain tasks in your business. Uh, first and foremost is communication and then scheduling and then payments. And we can get into all of that, but that, me is the million dollar plumber. That's the million dollar question. What do you want to spend your time doing? Exactly. exactly. I love how you went with that and hit right on that because 
we all that that is that is the issue or the problem that we get and we have to at the beginning work in our business but to be able to actually grow this business with the dream that we have in mind we have to find a way to work on the business mm -hmm. And there is so much, and what are we spending our time doing? Exactly. You know? Well, and I, you talk to a lot of plumbing business owners, and and are really just you know any home service business because you know fields pulse um, services you know all. But um, what what do you find initially? Is there hesitation of making that leap over from whatever they're using, whether it's pen and paper, or an Excel spreadsheet, a Google Calendar, whatever it might be, into a field management um, um, management software? What's what's the biggest tick up or the hang up? The initial time investment it takes to get something like this set up properly now full disclosure it does take time it does take effort uh, for instance building your price books building out you know all the so we have a, a tab called company settings right you're going to put in all your logos your your um we have uh, templated emails uh, we have all kinds of stuff yes you will have to invest some time in the beginning but what do investments do? They pay off in the long term. Right so you on. set all these, you set all these settings, you get all these things set up. Yes, it's going to take you two weeks. You still have to work. You still have to use your old system because you're still running your own business on your old systems. Mm -hmm. Now you have something else to do for, we tell everybody on average, two weeks. Now some businesses are bigger <laughs> and it takes a little bit longer. Some businesses, you know, two, three man shop. Two weeks is way too long. You, you'll be you'll be in it in seven days, up and running. Mm. But it's that initial investment of effort on top of we realize this everything else that you already have to do. So yeah. that is the biggest thing that guys just uh, you know I'm pretty good at doing my system here. I've got my notebook. I've got my my code, my cheat sheet. You know my my own language and how I do. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Mm. But is it scalable? Can you really do that for a long time? And without going so long, I'll go back to my first question. What do you want to spend your time doing? Exactly. Right. You yeah. know, and we it's can move thing, on. Exactly. <laughs> and it's the thing you said, it's an investment, right? And so when what happens with an investment, it does pay off and hopefully with, you know, benefits or with, um, um, what do you call it? With interest, right? right? Um, but Compound think, interest, yeah. Exactly. So, but think about it, guys. If you spend, you know, those two weeks, right? And, and during that two weeks, you're probably spending, you know, I don't know, 40, 50 hours or maybe not that much, 30 hours, you know, to get it done. Um, yes, it takes that, but what are you saving on the other side? So now, once you have all of that done, the amount of time that you're now saving from that point on, it just, it's exponential, right? It just grows and grows and grows. So that's the way to look at it. Yes, it's an investment of time in the beginning, but you're investing in your business, but the amount of time that you're going to get back, that you're going to get back to spend with your family, that you're going to get back to be able to work on other parts of your business. Now that that part is taken care of, um, you just, you're, you're banking those hours for the future. So right. And it allows you it. by doing that, it allows you to open up the pipeline. So now you can take care of more customers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. And you yes. can have more, more guys doing things your way. Cause that's one of the biggest fears, right? Yeah. Daniel, if we, you know, giving up you know, oh, having yeah. guys, you know, and so, you know, uh, field pulse allows you to systemize you to have you have you mm -hmm. do the job, the way that you do it, how you want to have it done. So it just expands, you know, opens things up for you. Um, and past the dam of you trying to keep everything in your head right. and on, you know, post-it notes and writing it mm -hmm. down and whatever. Because you can't keep everything in your head. I mean, it's just not, guys, you know it, if you're doing it, you know, it's just not possible, right? You can get it all down. That just frees up mind space for the other things that you do need to be focused on with your business or golly, I don't know, family, right. your wife, maybe. Right. So, so yeah, let's, and, and mm -hmm. real quick, one, one thing, one thing I like to tell people is I remember this in my own business. I remember this riding around in the truck. And, that, and, and this, this comes into a discussion where somebody's trading softwares, right? They're on another software, but they're interested in us. Um, and that's a whole nother discussion. But, and they say, well, I'm, 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 I'm already using software, but why, you know, and I said, well, imagine using it even better, getting even more efficient. Well, it's not gonna save me that much time, okay. But what if it saves you 30 minutes a day? Imagine having an extra 30 minutes a day, and I did this personally. Around lunchtime, I can take 30 minutes and just not work for 30 minutes, man. I can watch <laughs> baseball highlights because I'm a baseball guy. I used to go sit at city parks. I It looked kind of weird, I'm sure, a construction guy <laughs> sitting at a picnic eating his lunch. But, you know, 
it's get to come down. Nice. Yeah. Yes. I just, the, the 30 minutes a day I got to have to myself of just, whew, yes. Okay. All right. It's third. It's an extra 30 minutes. You give yourself every day. Fuck. Right. Just to regroup. Nice. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and then to, to don't kick it. Kick it for the rest of the afternoon. Well, you know, Phil yep. Paul does does so much. I mean, uh, and Daniel just you know went through it, just kind of brushed over. So it, it it covers it covers so much from right. keeping track of your your vehicles, the stock, to your your your, your price book, to you know, to one thing of your your customers, which is an important thing there. And that's I want to touch on that the importance of, and I think you you mentioned this of by being able to keep track of your customers, the ability to communicate with your customers. Yes. You know, especially the ones you have list, you know, for jobs today, right? Yeah. Jobs today, jobs tomorrow. And, right. you know, the funny thing, and another thing I bring up with contractors a lot is what about the customers that you already have? What about the customers that you did business for two weeks ago, six months ago? Don't you want to reach out to those people? Because you've right. already paid the customer acquisition costs. You, you already have them. They're already happy with you. They already paid you. Why don't you reach back out to them? Take that 30 minutes I just talked about and reach back out to them. My first assistant that I hired, that's when I, once one thing I tasked with her and we built out the tasks in fuel pulse for her to do this, it was on the schedule. She would call people in intervals for me one month after I did the job, three months after I did the job, six months and 11 months. Mm -hmm. I wanted her to just call and say, Hey, that work that Daniel did three months ago, six months ago, how is it holding up? You know, I was a handyman, so I would, I would fix doors. I'd fix, um, just, uh, cabinets, uh, whatever, you know, all, all kinds, anything, anything and everything. Hey, how's that work that Daniel did holding up? Is it still good? Okay, great. It was not a sales call. It was just a touch point with my customer. Mm -hmm. And I cannot quantify because I don't remember how many people would say, oh, thank you so much for calling. I've been meaning to call you. <laughs> right on. I love that. That is so important. The fortunes and the follow-up. Yeah, well, fortunes and the follow-up. Fortunes and the follow-up. <laughs> right. And, and that's they, a customer, like you said, you've already paid for, right? right. You've already paid yes. for. They've already opened their yes. wallet to you. You've already provided them yes. great service. And so yes. Fuel Pulse so, makes it easy for you to reach back out to those customers. Yes. And so and so that that's the customers in the past right now. You have your current customers and, and your future customers, people that are calling you people that are wanting you to come out and, or they've got a question to ask you, keeping all of your people, all of your customers in one place, you can do multiple things with them. You can build them an estimate. You can build them a job. You can build, you can send them automated communications. Uh, we have a lot of integrations with lots of um, uh, MailChimp, for instance. MailChimp, right. Uh, yeah. So you, you automated. Have all the of keyword that. was automated, right? Yes. I love. It. I mean, I wonder if yes. I, guys yes. automated. So it's not you doing it right. by having it already set up. This is part of that. You know, it takes a couple of weeks to kind of get you set up. That's part of the thing. So once you get your yes. logos and stuff in there, and they have the the email sequence that you can send out, and then you you can you can kind of you know put tweak your it. tweak it a little bit with your voice and that yeah, kind of can. stuff. But it's all there, and then it's automated. So right. you so when someone comes in and maybe they don't even buy it buy from you right now or schedule with you right now. You, get, you have their information. Now you can kind of have them in the, kind you of know, ping on them. right. You can ping on them. Right. Yep. Mm -hmm. you know? Exactly. And, and it's certainly yep. your past customers. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, and I want to yes. talk about too, not um, with the field management software. Um, what, what's the, the customer experience like, right? So can we hit on that as far, as opposed to, you know, how some guys might be doing it again, pen and paper, Excel spreadsheet, whatever it might be versus having a field management software. Um, can it um, elaborate a little bit on what, how that changes the customer experience. You can, you can say that with one sentence, you need to meet your customers where they are, where are, where is our culture? Now that's, I'm not going to get into that discussion. What everyone right. thinks we're going to talk about. No, yeah. what I'm talking about is what has Amazon done to the customer? What yeah. has Walmart Chick-fil-A done to the customer? Right on. They have, they have perfected expedience they have perfected convenience mm -hmm. down to and they have changed the nature of how we buy things and how we interact with businesses and so now you need to meet those customers where they are uber took over the taxi cab and reinvented yes. transportation kind of you know they haven't necessarily yeah. replaced personal vehicles but they transformed and they completely reinvented a segment of transportation all over the world Yes. What does Uber have that you don't have when you're running pen and paper and Excel spreadsheets? You 
request a ride on Uber, and it follows the little dot down the map, and you can see when your driver is turning the corner to come yes. on the street. So if it's raining, if it's cold outside, you know when you need to step out on the curb and wait for that driver to pull up. That's what Fuel Pulse does. That's what this. That's the power of having this kind of software in your pocket, in your phone. That's what it does for your customers. We have on the way notifications. We have fleet tracking. We have the ability for you to tell your customers, and not you, because maybe you have three and four and ten techs working for you. That technician takes the job. He sets the on the way notification in the job. Boom. Customer gets communication. John from Million Dollar Plumbers on his way. Here's a profile picture of him. Here's something about him. It gets kind of goofy um, with, I like to fish yeah. on the weekends. Like, yeah, you haven't been fishing in three years because you've been working your butt off. <laughs> right, right, right. Sure. You but, still like to. <laughs> yeah, but it, you would love to. <laughs> but it, that's, and, and Daniel, I'd love, I just want to pause here for a moment because guys, this is so, 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 so important because that is the customer a buying customer, you know, a, a comfortable customer is a buying customer, right? And so also with, with so their, their buying experience, they're used to this, this kind of technology, mm -hmm. okay, and dealing with it. So that makes them feel comfortable, yes. all right? So it, it, you're already present yourself in a, com you know, to them in a comfortable way, right? all right? Yes. It also gives you value. Yes. Okay. It, it gives you value. They're not value the plumbing. They expect us to do plumbing and they really don't value plumbing. No one wakes up in the morning and wants to call a plumber. They really don't value the plumbing. Not um, until they need it. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly right. But to have it presented this way now, mm -hmm. you're you're more you're more valuable. Yes. Right. Yes. And I want to go back to the thing you said about um Uber and how they um revolutionized and changed an, an entire industry, right? To where you're following the little dot, right? All of you guys have done this, following the little dot till they so you don't have to walk out in the freezing cold or rain or whatever until they're right there. How did how did taxis, right? How did you used to do it for taxis? You stood out there, right? You stood out on the corner oh, yeah. and in the rain and trying to wave someone down that's, yeah, hello, hello. And they're going by you because they don't want to stop or whatever. So yeah, that's mm -hmm. exactly, you're, you're exactly right how they revolutionized it. Also, when you said about Chick-fil-A and Amazon and whatever, you're, they revolutionized um, just the service industry. Um, plumbing business owner, Amazon, Chick-fil-A, and all those others that provide excellent service and a great experience, that's your competition. That's your competition, not just necessarily the plumbing business owner or the plumbing businesses that are in your area, but it's the uh, of, of what customers are used to. They've changed yeah. our mindset. Chick-fil-A changed yes. our mindset. If you go through a drive through and the person doesn't now say, uh, my pleasure, you're like, what kind of pizza crap? Fast food restaurant <laughs> am I going to, right? right? So yeah, I need someone to tell me my pleasure with a smile and hand me my peachy yep. PT milkshake or whatever, right? For Amazon, you go onto Amazon and you know you've got tons of choices and there's you know different prices and whatever. That it's changed um our 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 whole culture and you've got to keep up, but that's your competition. Right. And I love yes. and Daniel, I know I want I want to steer you this way because uh, I, I love this part where we're going, the presentation with the customer. So like Amazon. It makes it so nice. I mean, we can just get, it's almost as fun to see all the, the, the options and mm -hmm. it makes it, you know, and we can, we can know about it and it's right there in front of us and it's right, right there mm -hmm. on the screen or tablet or our phone, whatever we're holding, whatever Crazy. our customers like that as well. Used and to so, it. so field pulse makes it, I love, you know, your, your presentation, the way we can present now, not just on a piece of paper or just telling the customer, here's what, how much it costs. Or I'll bill you later. Or, right. Yeah. Which is right. That's a whole nother <laughs> topic. Um, Field, we can well, actually talk about that next, but yeah, well, pulse, right, well, well, let's go that way because field pulse allows you to let's talk about the presentation, mm -hmm. but then allows yes. the customer to pay you right then. So you can get your money in the bank right then, which is what the customers used to do in any ways. They're used to paying right then. Right. Yes. All right. Yes. Yes. And so with, with the presentation, we, 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 in my personal opinion, I think we almost have too many options. Uh, yeah. We've built out a lot of different functionality. And so but we do that on purpose because everybody works differently. Um, right. A sidebar about, about fuel pulse internally. We do not want to lock you into a workflow. We do not want to force you into some of our competition. We'll say, this is our workflow. You need to learn mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. In fuel pulse, you can any from anywhere at any time. You can create a customer. You can create a job. You can create an invoice from anywhere at any time. And so it's really up to how your brain works and how you move through the process. Now, um, with the presentations that we have, everybody knows your customers love options. 
way. Yes. Trust me. Uh, doing handyman work, which involved paint work and involved, you know, trim work and sheetrock and all these different variables beyond beyond just a plumbing job. Um, everybody would want lots of options. Well, in our est building an estimate, you just it's a tab at the top. Option one, you build out your estimate. Oh, you want another option? Okay, you can duplicate it. So you have the original first option and then you're adding on an additional option and that's option two. Oh, you want a third option? No problem. Click a button, it opens up a third tab. Now the customer has three options. And so you have a simple, a moderate, a really built out, and then you can have, I don't know, 11 if you want. If you have the patience to sit in front of a customer and give them 11 yeah. options. Not if they're MDP, okay. they're not. Yeah, MDP, we say it's three, three options, good, better, best. Yes, yes. We will yeah. kick somebody's butt. Yep. <laughs> yeah, and um, so we, uh, and, and we also have a, 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 a variant proposal tool, which is, it's very slick interface. It categorizes things differently. So uh, it's there, the columns are actually different colors. There's gray. Uh, I think on the left, white in the middle, and then ground. So it, it color differentiates your options. Good, better, best. And yep. exactly, good, better, best. And uh, we have some people advocate for five. So we give you the option to go up to five. That's purely but, your choice if you want but, to. But, but you that's give nice. it, you give that's us nice. a choice, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, that, that's yes. cool. So it's easy to, you know, we, we can work it within what, whatever system that you're choosing to do. Right. Right. Yes. yes. You know, automate your company's day to day scheduling, dispatching, and billing systems with. Field Pulse, a game-changing field management power tool that thousands of businesses just like yours are switching to. Field Pulse makes it easy to bring order to your daily chaos. No more struggling to keep track of your customers, jobs you got going on, or where your guys are at. Field Pulse is the perfect solution for helping you to organize your business, save time, and my favorite part, increase revenue. And with its mobile app, you can access Field Pulse's powerful features to run your business from literally anywhere in the world. Throw in QuickBooks integration, award-winning support, and plans starting at just $60 per user, it's simply a no-brainer. I love Field Pulse, and I know you will too. To learn more and to schedule a free live demo, go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash Field Pulse and see why plumbing pros everywhere are making the switch to Field Pulse. I want to ask too. So we talked about the customer experience, right? And and I think there was there was a great analogy that you gave. Um, but what about techs now, right? Technicians, plumbers. Um, so you know, you, you everybody says I can't find a good plumbers. I cannot. I can't find quality plumbers. Richard's question to them is, why would anybody want to work for you, right? Mm -hmm. So if you're if you're a plumbing company and you're doing again pen, paper, Excel spreadsheet. Um, as opposed to what a lot of the companies are going with, with some sort of field management software, what um, kind of speak on that and, and how it changes the, the technician's needs and, and um, experience. To your point, I've said this a bunch, you need to become a destination employer. You need to be someone that somebody wants to work for. Um, I did a podcast recently with a Mason in California. He has a waiting list. Imagine having a waiting list wow. of yes. people wanting to come work for you. And it, it has nothing to do with pay. Now he does pay right. good, but um, I could go off into culture. He has a fantastic culture. Uh, there's a story around a rubber chicken that everybody fights for every single month. We can save <laughs> that for the next podcast um, or you can go Love check it. it out. I did a couple <laughs> months ago, um, but yeah, you need to be a place that technicians want to come work for. They actually want to come work for you. Now, part of that is your culture. But also part of that is no, the technician knowing that I'm not going to be wasting my time because some of some technicians are paid by the hour, some are straight commission. We all know all the different, you know, payment models and, and labor models. Right. If I'm going to be wasting my time doing paperwork, nothing sounds more dreadful to me because I'm not getting paid to do paperwork. I, I want to know as a technician going to work for somebody else that I can I can. I can go, I can go, I can sell, I can get to work. I can take this phone or this tablet out of my hand. I can throw it in the, in the front seat because I've done my digital job and I've sold the job that needs to be sold. And I can get to work faster and not yes. have to do so much paperwork, not have to do so much. We hear this all the time. I have three, my company runs on three different apps and my technicians need to get all three. Well, then they don't, one of them is a timekeeping app. Well, well they say the app goes down yes. while they're out at some place with 
sketchy yeah. cell service, no which bars. is why no they bars. didn't do exactly, which is right. why they didn't do that portion of their job, which we all know Twitter could not be, you know, <laughs> right. yeah. well, well, questionable. We well, in Rio, we've been there, right? <laughs> exactly. So now having everything in one. You have no excuses anymore. They got no you, bars because they're at the bar. Yeah, they got no bars because <laughs> they're at the bar. <laughs> and that's so a, that's uh, a sketchy bar. Yeah. Yes. So <laughs> having everything, having under everything under one roof un, in one ecosystem, you're taking away a lot of the excuses. You're taking away a lot of the switching back and forth. Oh, I got to, you know, the the key presses, right? And we focus on this a lot is is our is our click funnels. How many clicks does it take to do something? If we can simplify that, we will. It makes mm. everybody happy. Mm. Right. How Beautiful. many clicks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? Tootsie Pop. Three. It wasn't the other thing. <laughs> yeah, right, right. I think so. Uh, that's dating us. That is dating us. You're not yes. that old, Daniel. Are you that old? Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm right there with you. Uh, yeah, I remember those commercials. <laughs> right. Because right. you see them on YouTube as a rerun. That was a squirrel moment. That's oh, right. sorry. Oh, no, no. no. <laughs> I, I had a tube TV, okay? Okay. Uh, all right. Okay. 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 All right. Monk's family then. Destination <laughs> employer. We're going to steal that. I hope you don't mind. That's I'm a gonna, great I'm, because that, that destination is, employer. That is the point. Mm -hmm. I, lo I love that. Yeah. Um, that right. if you're a destination employer, um, because if not, you then you've just become a transient employer. Yes. Right. And, and the guys that they, it gives them comfort and it gives them security. And it's also, you're investing in your business, which also gives them security. If you're just tossing them, you know, a, a tablet or, you know, some carbon, you know, three-part carbon forms that you picked up at the office, you know, office max or whatever, there's no security in that. But if they're seeing that you're actually investing in the technology for the business, that's, that speaks right. security for sure. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Love it. Mm -hmm. So let's, we did, we did bring up the thing about getting paid, getting the money in the bank today. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. And so speak on, you know, the field pulse. Well, I know the field pulse just makes it simple, but you know, Speak on that, so, please. So we, we have built-in financing options, if 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 that's your thing. Personally, yeah. I, I didn't offer financing options for the work that I did. Um, I I like cash. I like check. I like credit yeah. card. Um, but we do we do have financing options built in. But then also, um, I also with my handyman business, I elevated myself and I elevated my business to where the smallest house that I would work in was. 6,000 square feet, 7,000 square feet. I worked in a couple of 20,000 square foot houses. Mm. That was my level of clientele. Um, those people like to go on vacation a lot. They yes. like to go on trips a lot. They are also professional, busy people. They are also often unreachable people because they are working if they're not on vacation. Mm. And so um, I loved it. When and I came from one of our competitors and I switched over to Field Pulse, and the fact that I could text someone an invoice and I got a response that the text that I got in response was the receipt. You mean I don't have to come back? I don't have to wait because I had somebody do this to me. Oh, I'm in the Bahamas and we just decided to stay because it's like a New Year's celebration or some extra thing. And I right. said, yeah, sure, no problem. And they said, we'll pay you when you get back. I said, no, actually, I just emailed you the invoice. And they said, okay, we'll go ahead and pay it. So I didn't have to wait to get my money for them to come back because they just decided to stay. <laughs> right, which, which happens. That is so, and that's so real. Right. Which you know, right. it does. Right. right. Yeah. And it's a thing, yeah. right? People, I mean, we we get our, our card, our Richard's Jeep detailed that comes out to the house, mobile detailing, because we just don't have time. Plus his Jeep won't fit into any of the, the car washes. But as uh -huh. soon as he's done, we get a text message and it's a, you know, pay here. It literally is yep. two clicks. We pay and we're done. He gets the money the same day. He did the work, gets the money the same day. It's as simple as that. So that's what we as a culture, again, if we're going back to Amazon and the others, that's the what we're used to in this culture, that it's super easy. These guys, these Mrs. Jones and all your residential um, plumbing companies, they don't want to think about you Customers. the moment. What did I say? Customers. Customers, yeah. yes. They don't want to think about you the moment you walk out of the house. They don't want to think about you. So make it as easy as possible. Make it so easy that it, it's um, you get the work done. They've paid. You're gone. Get back to their life. And they give you five yes. stars exactly. because, because of the great experience. Right. Exactly. Not, not because it was fixed great. Right. It's because of the experience. The whole experience. And, feel, and feel pulse is I, what make, makes it a great experience. Yes. And, yeah. and, and talking about, a, talking about an ex a customer experience, I had a job that I did not complete. Uh, there were... You, we we've all been there where you just have those customers in that that situation where 
you, experience has taught me I just need to throw my hands up. Hey, I'm I'm sorry. I, I'm not going to charge you anything. I tried. This is wrong. I didn't bring the right stuff. I'm not going to waste your time, my time. Hey, I'm now I'm going to refer you to somebody else that I know, but I'm just throwing in the towel. I'm just letting you know respectfully. Still got a five star review because of the way that I talked to him, the way that I treated him, the way that I explained everything that I did that I didn't have. Hey, I'm sorry, this is just not going to work today. Yes. Yeah. No, and, that, and again, it's the communication. I know you, you know, talked a little bit about that, but it's the communication that you have with. And I don't know if you want to expand on that a little bit. So maybe we talked about that before we we started recording. Um, but really, the yeah. communication that you've got um with with the customer. Um, I don't know if you want to chat about that a little bit. Sure. So our our phone system, um, we have had some failures in the past, and we'll be the first to admit it that our first generation of phone system was, it was a good try. Uh, it was. Wow. A for effort. So, wow. <laughs> and it's and tough. Like, On the technical it, side, it's tough. Yes. I mean, this that, is the toughest that, thing to do. Yes. Yes. It is very hard to make these things work. Um, so our, our current phone system that we have now that we just released, uh, we released Engage 2.0 recently. Our CEO, who is also the founder, um, basically scrapped everything that we had before. He didn't try and fix it. We didn't try and go and put wow. Band-Aids on it. We just started over completely. And so now our phone system, imagine having, and we call it a pane of glass, right? This is your screen interface, right? So imagine having one pane of glass Customer history, jobs that you've done for them, estimates you've sent them, invoices you've sent them, text messages, phone calls, and we're working on an email integration all in one pane of glass. You can see everything that you've ever done with your customers mm -hmm. all in one pane of glass. Mm -hmm. um, the automated, um, this is where I started, right, with, with the automations that we have built in. Imagine having the software follow up on on past due invoices for you. You set a communication trigger. If it's not pi paid by this day, hey, Mrs. Jones, just a reminder, your invoice due date is tomorrow. Well, then the day you, I would set it for two days after. Okay, now your invoice is one day late. You can set it and you can set all these things so you don't have to do it. Now you get flagged in, uh, on your on your admin portal on your web app or on on the admin side. You'll get notified of these communications happening. So it's not it's not happening without you even knowing about it. Um, you can keep track of these of these things. You can pull reports on past due invoices, uh, estimates as well. If you want to have a touch point with your customer, you've given them an estimate for something. That's something that you have to follow up with them if they're shopping and clients are doing this a lot now. They're getting four, five, six, seven estimates now. Um, just state of the world. That's that's the way that it is. And so, again, you have all these things automated. You have all these things done for you. They're pre-templated. Pre all you have to do is work through your workflow. And there's a lot of communication triggers. There's a lot of pre-templated things that you have delegated to the software, and it's doing it for you now. Right. That's what we talked about. I'm sorry, babe. That's yeah. what we talked about in the beginning. That you this, this is the this is the investment up front, the couple of weeks that it's going to take you, and it, it's a thing, right? But think of the time that it just saved you. That you're not doing all those things that Daniel just mentioned. You're not manually doing all those things. It's happening behind the scenes. It's happening because you took those two weeks to get everything set up that right. way. Right, and that's what that's what Field Pulse provides there. I mean, if, the experience for the customer, which is what it's all about there. It's going to give you a pro experience in front of the customer, mm -hmm. but more importantly for you, it allows you to be able to grow your plumbing business and, and give you the free time that you're really looking for. Right. So instead of having to spend all the time calling yourself and, and following up or even having to remember just, right. just the free mental time. All right. I love how you yes. put it where I, where I could just take 30 minutes, you know, and, and catch up on my, my sports or whatever I'm checking out or just go sit in the park and eat my lunch in peace and just have my <laughs> mind go wherever it wants to go. But it it allow it gives you that okay. Yes. And, at the, and the bottom line that that all those those two things allow you to scale your plumbing business. Yes. All right. Absolutely. So it's it's a tool. It's a power tool. You got to have. You got yeah. you got to have this in your box. Nope. I would okay. just encourage um yes. those those uh, small plumbing shops. You know, one one two three man trucks. Um, maybe you've talked to some other field management software and they've told you you're too small. Right. We can't take you on until you hit this certain amount. Right. And so you're thinking, well, I'm just. I just, this is how it's going to have to be until right. I grow or whatever. Um, or you're thinking I'm too small that 
that don't need something like this. Um, I think we've just laid out this. This is something that again, a one, two, three man shop can implement um, relatively easy. Again, you got the two weeks, you know, investment, but relatively easy, and it right. sets you apart from the other and small shops. It's extremely, extremely affordable. I mean, you can't afford not to do it. And uh, I know that you know the, the team there is uh, you know standing by to give you you know a free demo, no pressure. I mean, these guys they're, they're good people. They're not they're not looking to pressure you. They don't have to you know. It's uh, but but it's extremely affordable and, and very cool. Um, you go, go to the million dollar plumber dot com forward slash field pulse and you can set up you know get yourself a free demo. Yeah, there's probably a link somewhere in the show yeah, notes here too. But, but before we let you go, I, I got I got to hit you on this because here, Daniel, we have you. you you've owned uh, multiple businesses. You, you've been in the trades. You, you, you're around this and all now, and you know we're we're all about here at Potty Talk. You know we're teaching the, you know the business of plumbing. You know business, and you know to new uh, new, to new business owners. Okay, and mm -hmm. even ones that have been in business for a while and been struggling. But since I have you here, you know you're not you're not just some tech dude. I mean you're a real. I think dude. we've been, established he's yeah, not tech at all. Yeah, you've been so. you've been in the trenches. <laughs> no. Okay. So that that's our that's who's listening and watching, right? Mm -hmm. What what's a yes. what's a what's a piece of advice or you know something else that, that you could you know talking to, to you know someone that's uh, starting out or has just been struggling with their business? Um, uh, please provide a piece of advice. So I'm I'm going to take a piece of advice I got from my virtual CFO, uh, which by the way is a thing. If you're looking for serious financial help in your business, um, there are virtual CFOs out there that you can hire. Um, they are expensive. I paid out the nose for one, but he is still a friend to this day. Um, and he, the process that he walked me through stays with me to this day. I think about where I want to end up, where I want to be. That's my goal. That's, that's, I, I am that kind of person. And you have to be that kind of person to do this kind of work is to have a goal in mind of what is going to be considered right, what's going to be considered correct, what's going to be considered a job well done, because that's what we all do at the end of the day. And you need to find out, you need to figure out, and you need to put a plan together of where you want to end up. My ending up dream, my, my end point is a modest one. I'll be the first to say it. I don't need lake houses. I don't need boats. I don't need toys. I just, I don't want to feel any pressure when I'm done. When I'm done working my life, I want all the pressure to be gone. And so the key then is to not just have a dream because everybody's got hopes and dreams. And, you know, there's a famous saying about dreams. Um, but you have to form a plan and you have to back engineer that plan. Now, in a financial sense, it comes mm -hmm. down to what, are you going to charge today that gets you to the revenue for the month, for the quarter, for the year, for the decade that gets you to that goal? But then how are you also going to structure your life? How are you going to structure your relationships? What are you going to do to end up in that place where for me, I want no pressure when I retire, when I'm done, when I'm done working, I'm done working. I'm yeah. selling all <laughs> my tools. I'm selling all my stuff. <laughs> and I'm, my wife and I are going to live a very, very simple life. <laughs> no, that's but beautiful. Order... I, I think your CFO has been watching potty talk. I'm just going to right. say that because <laughs> we say this all the time. You know, we, we say, don't, you know, don't worry about building your business, the, you know, a certain way, design your life first. What do you want your mm -hmm. life to look like? And then based on that, whether it is something that's very modest, right? Or maybe it is, man, I want a boat. I want a plane. I want to travel I mean, once a month. doesn't matter. It's yours. It's, it's whatever cool. you want. If that's, if that's what you want, go for right. it. Absolutely. Right. So design your life first. Once you do that, then you walk it backwards. Okay. Well, what's it going to take to get there? What, how do I want to set my business up so that it does support the life that I want? And, and we also talk about, you got to know your why. You got to know your why. And, and I know guys, yes. your plumbing business owners are like, I'm too busy to know my why. If you're too busy to know your why, you're never going to, you're never going to get to whatever. You can't just be, I want to be successful air quotes one day. I want to make lots of money air quotes. That's, that's not going to do it. You got to know why you're doing it. What do you want? Just like Daniel, that's perfect. We, my wife and I know we want to have a very modest life um, by the time we retire. And I'm sure you've got the age, you know, figured out of, of what that is. And so that, mm -hmm. that's what, you, you work your life to that point. You got to know why you're doing it. Uh, huge nugget of gold there, yes, Daniel. Definitely. Love that, man. Mm -hmm. All right. It's coming from experience here. Yep. All right. Mm -hmm. Listen up. <laughs> okay. Hey, Daniel, <laughs> thanks for taking the time to be with us. Yes. Thank it, you. This so has much. been oh, great. Pleasure was all mine, guys. I can't thank you enough for this. And uh, I'm looking forward to the next one already.
Perfect. Right. Well, we'll definitely have you back on. <laughs> All right. Absolutely. Appreciate you, brother. All right. Thanks so much, All right, Daniel. Thank you. All thank right. you, man. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. All right. Great stuff there. <gasps> he was yeah. a cool guy. Yes. Wasn't he? I, just fun. Yes. Mm-hmm. I, and, I, and lots, first of all, go back and listen, you know, of course I want you to check out field pulse. Sure. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, and again, go to the million dollar plumber.com forward slash field pulse, mm-hmm. Gra- grab the, the free demo and go, or in the go show through notes. that. We're in the show, or, or in the the show, show notes, notes right. Well. Link mm-hmm. or whatever. Okay. Right. Mm-hmm. But I, I go back and listen to just cause here's a guy is, is from the field as well. Mm-hmm. So um, he had, he had lots of nuggets of gold there. Mm-hmm. I, I just loved, there were so many times, but I, I didn't want to stop the conversation, mm. but, but just how he relate, you know, yes. to, to what, what we experience, what's, what's happening out there. Mm. And you know? I think he gave, gave great insight on the reasons why to go from um, pen and paper or, or whatever um, to something like a field pulse, a field management software, the reasons why from a customer experience, from the technician experience, and then also you just getting more time. Right. Because guys, we get it. You, there's, you don't have a lot of time. You, you are working in your business and on your business, especially in the beginning um, of your plumbing business. So um, I think he really explained it well on how you can get your time back, but then also just improve um, the customer and the technician experience. Right. And you need this kind of uh, power tool in place, field pulse. To, to be able to provide that experience, that common experience to your yes, customer. That was okay? such a, a good All right. part. That, that's a very important. Yeah. That's a very important point there. Yep. And then ultimately to free you up, mm-hmm. okay, to delegate. Maybe have a life. Right. Well, mm-hmm. and then to be able to have a life mm-hmm. and to be able to scale your, your plumbing business, right. Right, you need to be able to delegate some yeah. things. So the automation there to be able to communicate with your customers mm-hmm. and your guys and just, I mean, it is just, it's, it's a powerful tool. You got to have it. Okay. Yep. Mm-hmm. So there and we, we love it too. For some of you guys that have um, been a part of Million Dollar Plumber and um, even the Success Academy, Field Pulse has um, is is now um, an approved MDP partner, and we do have a partnership. And they have also integrated our HVI, the HVI that the Million Dollar Plumber um, Success Academy teaches. Um, hourly value index, which that's all in the success Academy, right. but you can now um, know your HVI. If you know what I'm talking about, if you've been watching potty talk or part of the Academy, you know what we're talking about. That's all now um, available in field. Pulse. The only KPI that will tell you right now, whether you're making money Correct. right now, we know that's what you want to know. Not that I got, you know, anyway, not, we'll that you, not that you made, you know, $10,000 for the week. That doesn't tell you if you made money. Doesn't tell you because okay. your parts may have been 15. Right. Or whatever. So, yeah. But they, they, they do HVI. <laughs> they so, do, which is pretty exciting. Great, great partnership there. Absolutely. All right. So ch- check them out. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. Hey, well, he mentioned, you know, yes. that he had a, um, a, um, a mentor or whatever mm-hmm. that helped yes. him grow his plumbing business. Mm-hmm. You know, I loved his, his, nugget, his nugget of gold there mm-hmm. at the end, which was just so, so real. Mm-hmm. Okay. I know. <laughs> All right. But, if, but if you're, you're in a state of mind where you're looking for insight or input, okay. Mm-hmm. Or just need to be pointed in the right direction. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's talk. Okay. Go to the million dollar plumber.com forward slash call. Mm-hmm. All right. And, and schedule your free strategy call with us, okay? Yep. And we'll get you pointed in the right direction. We'll just have a simple conversation, okay? And we'll go from there. Okay. All right, there you go. All right. All right. Hey, before I let you go, as always, I want to remind you that you were purposefully and wonderfully created. You were created to do great things. So plumb like a champion. Bye, everybody. Bye.